We are on our way home after a satisfying trip to Lake Michigan. This is In Through the Outdoors, and I'm your guide, Jason Walter. On our way out, we decided to make historic Lambeau Field our first stop. It was everything a Viking fan could have dreamed of. A reminder of all the cheesehead superstars that have kept the Vikings out of the playoffs way too many times. Now we're headed west, and while driving through Milwaukee, our stomachs were growling. Intentionally, I might add, because we'd made a plan to stop at Doc's Smokehouse, our final destination before we return to Milfoil. They say it's Milwaukee's best barbecue. I think they were wrong. I think it might just be the best barbecue. It's located in historic downtown Milwaukee, and maybe that added to the experience, maybe even the flavor. Or maybe it's just the fact that Doc's is committed to those good old Southern traditions. So we started with the lower Alabama caviar, sausage and cheese, and smoked onion dip. Just a reminder here, there are four guys on this trip and at this table. Then I ordered the judging table. A quarter slab of ribs, a quarter pound of brisket, a quarter pound of pulled pork, a quarter pound of turkey, one hot link, five wings and two sides, brisket chili, and collard greens. The others split Doc's meat coma. Need I say more? I did go for the peanut butter pie and brandy water by. What? I don't have to drive until we gas up in Albert Lee. I'm Chasen Walter, and that's In Through the Outdoors. Find more at chasenwalter.lol, and thanks for listening. When it comes to protecting your firearms and other valuable possessions from theft and fire, Browning knows you have to have options. While the differences among gun safes are difficult to see on a sales floor, you can be confident there isn't another brand that lives up to the high standards set by Browning. And right now, you can save hundreds of dollars when you use the Browning Safe Builder on my website right now at chasenwalter.lol.